Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So the last time that we did Genie from Aladdin was must have been well over a year ago. And so I've changed how I do things so much that I wanna redo this one. Um, this one's being mailed out. So normally I do 30 inches, but with the hair like this for an off the mat, I'm a little bit worried about this not making it in the mail. So um, the boards that I'm using are 20 inches by 30 inches, and I have a feeling that this is actually um, not going to be 20 by 30. Like if I make the height or the width 30, the height's going to be way more than 20 because, yeah, it's a lot closer because it's just it, it's more of a square right it's 11 almost 11 inches by 9 inches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the shorter side and i'm going to make it 20 inches so let's go to height and i'm going to change that to 20 and yeah it's a little bit short of the 30 inches but it's still going to be very sizable and i want to make sure it's just because of this little hair thing right here otherwise we can make it a little bit bigger but let's get started on how to do this one. Now on this one, I am, I normally use 12 by 12 cardstock. I am going to use 12 by 24 cardstock because I want this part to actually be seamless, not just to kind of look seamless. I want to make it seamless. And so that's why we're going to do that. I know it's hard to keep in stock. 12 by 24 cardstock. First, where do you put it? It's such a pain in the butt. Um, but if you do want to buy it, what I do, my secret is I wait for Joann's to have a sale. In their open stock section, at least for my store, they, um, they will do a 70% off occasionally. Uh, maybe like once a year. But when they do, that's when I go and I grab the glitter cardstock. So the glitter cardstock, I want to say is $5.00 per 12 by 24 sheet. So that's, I mean, it's pricey, right? But at 70%, what does that make it? Uh, wait, that means we're paying 30%. So 30%, we're paying $1.50. That's worth it, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. Okay, let's ungroup everything. So we've already sized it. Um, Okay, so things are ungrouping right now. This is still grouped together. I'm gonna ungroup that as well. And you can always tell because it says group. So you know you can still take it one more layer and ungroup. So um, like this is all grouped together. I'm gonna take that out because I don't want that. We're gonna be doing, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing yet, whether we're doing a name or a slogan. That's not really the point of this tutorial. The point of this tutorial is to make it big slice things apart how do we do that all right so let's look at this first so this is the blue sign okay now that we took out all the words i actually want to fill everything in so it's easy all you do is you go to contour and we're going to click hide all it's going to give us it's going to hide all these little cutouts and we're gonna have this beautiful blue sign. And this is the reason why to, I mean, see why I wanna use 12 by 24 cardstock. This is eight, almost nine inches. And then this is a little bit over 16 inches. So this will cut seamlessly. And so I kinda wanna do that. All right, I'm gonna move that aside. Let's do our next layer. So this is our gold layer. Um, let me move it over here where it's a little bit cleaner. Oops, that's too much. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about this gold piece. So this gold piece is all, it's its considered one piece. So you can see over here, it's one, uh, one line item. So everything is attached without easily unattaching it, right? Um, so I want to, I'm gonna bring in a square and we're gonna slice apart these things because as is, I can't cut it, right? But individually, I can cut these pieces. They're fine on the Cricut. So let's go and get this bracelet. So the bracelet, when you're slicing, whatever you're removing from the overall picture, so I'm moving, removing this bracelet, you want that piece to be completely covered by your shape. 
and then and only that piece and then you can only slice two items at one time so it's going to be my shape and my gold items so now i'm going to grab with my cursor both items and slice and now the bracelet will be able to be moved out so when we go to cut this we can move everything really close together because right now it's there's so much empty space right oh man this happened to me last time so normally the so design space is glitching up big time because look at my square my square looks like i haven't done anything to it yet here's my sliced out piece like where did this gray piece come from i i don't know <laughs> all right let me see did did it move okay yeah so here's my gold piece now here's my perfectly brand new square which is so bizarro all right let's see if we can slice this out okay it's letting me slice now because i've done the genie before i know so here the other thing sorry i'm skipping around um this svg file i'm not even going to bother looking to see who i bought it from over a year ago because they always switch out their images uh, so i would just search for aladdin genie svg file okay all right so now i'm going to do this bracelet Oh, see this one, the little, the little ponytail holder sliced out. Um, as I was saying before, the first time I did this genie, this looks like it's all one item, but it's actually three items. So I'm actually going to go in here and weld it because I don't want this to be three individual pieces. And then this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it. And Aladdin is in a couple of pieces. So I'm going to make this smaller and wider. Like that. That's not the best. Hold on. Let me see if I can make this a little bit better. Okay. This little guy is still showing, but we can deal with that let me make this just a little bit bigger all right let's grab these two items and slice because i want the aladdin part to be gone and this i think is the easiest way to do it normally you could just contour but oh man look at this this is so weird how it's just not working out right now i mean we don't need anything from there so it's not a big deal all right let's grab these two things and delete this gold part should be gone okay so that leaves just this little swoosh of the a right this one's easy to contour we'll go to contour and we'll just click on that little piece and that's it okay so this is a gold trim it's gonna look amazing we'll put it over here with this and i'm just gonna move this over all right this little guy is good all right, this, I do want to weld this, so I'm not dealing with seven pieces, I'm dealing with two pieces. So the easiest thing to do is I would bring in a circle, and we don't have to lose all the details, we can still keep the rest of this, um, I guess, slit, if you want to call it. And I'm just going to put this here, I'm going to duplicate it. So it's going to have some detail, but it's going to give me these three pieces as one. And then I'm gonna move it over here as well. And do that here, maybe up here. Duplicate it. And put it here, duplicate it. I know it's, um, most of the time with off the mat, it's just sort of cleaning up your file to make it easy for you and to make it big and how to cut it. All right, so this is all good, right? I'm gonna weld it. So here's the bracelet. I know it looks weird maybe right now, but it's fine, weld it. I mean, it could just be one cut. Whoa, design space, what in the world? All right, so I'm gonna undo that. I mean, obviously it's not supposed to be like that. I wonder if it's just this piece. Let me move this down here and see what that does. You never know what you're gonna get. It 
That didn't help me at all. All right, so I'm just gonna undo it. I don't like the way that looks. I mean, so I'm just gonna leave it as four pieces. I'm gonna delete this. All right, let's hope that we don't have any more issues. Let's go back over here. Let's look at these pieces that's, that are left. Okay, this one for some reason has an extra black outline. We don't need it. The only thing that I'm tempted to do, no, I'm just gonna delete it. We have our black here for the background to be his ponytail and his mustache. I was originally going to say maybe we um, isolate the ponytail so that we have an extra piece for the ponytail, but I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. This is, you know, there's some extra space here. So again, you can slice this so that we can smush it all together and it's easier to use your scraps. So I'm going to do that make this big. Let's grab the bottom teeth bottom row it didn't let me slice still didn't let me slice what is going on oh I don't even need to do that look it this is still grouped together ungroup that's how easy that is <laughs> so yuppers <laughs> that's all separated okay let's go look at this blue maybe we'll be oh we are just as lucky look we can ungroup it we don't even need to slice it i love that okay so let's look at these individual pieces 7.3 by 5.44 good everything is good oh even this piece is good because look how big that piece is okay so our blue is all good um and our red is good as well all we have left is the is the black background. Okay, that is awesome, right? I, okay, I don't wanna move this blue around because this is going to be my road map on where the pieces go. So I'm leaving it as is. I'm gonna move the black down to a cleaner area because you guys have let me know that it gets too messy looking and you don't like it. <laughs> and so I'm gonna move it right here. How about that? Okay, here's a square. I For the black portion, I am gonna be using 12 by 12 cardstock. So with 12 by 12 cardstock, you know they don't cut 12 to 12, right? It cuts 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And I don't like dealing with half inches, and let's see how big is this guy. Yeah, so in this case, it really doesn't matter whether I use 11 and a half or 11 inches, no matter what. Um, I need two rows because 20 inches, 11 plus 11 is 22. And then 20, almost 25 inches, I'm gonna need three columns. So I'm gonna need six squares, if you can kind of imagine that. So here is the first one. Let's make that 11 inches. And we're just going to drop it right around here. And then we're going to go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. Okay. So 11.93 becomes 12. 15.8 becomes 16. What that means is your X coordinate is the one running across. So it's saying go all the way over 12 units and then go down 16 units. And here's the beginning of our square. If you remember, we've scrolled down. That's why we're at 16. So don't think that we're up here and it should be like number two. Um, we're down 16 units. Okay, duplicate that. And normally I build across, but I think it's gonna be faster building it this way. So on this one, if you put it close enough to the top one, and let me move it like this so we can see it better. Again, you don't need to do the math. Well, unless you call rounding math. 11.944 becomes 12. 27.1 becomes 27. Now you have two flush squares, and I can show you the math behind it. So here is 16, right? So we're at 16, 16 plus 11 is 27, and there's our 27. So I know that these squares are completely flushed with each other. You want them flush because you want the pieces, we're basically slicing up this gigantic black background, right, into pieces that the Cricut can cut. So when we're done, we're gonna have six pieces. Well, we want the six pieces to easily just butt up against each other so that we don't really, 
we're minimizing the seams. You're gonna see the seams, but we're gonna minimize it as much as possible. Because if you remember, this is our backmost layer. All of our colored pieces are gonna sit on top. So it's gonna cover 90 per, more than 90% of our seams. Um, if you really want it to be as foolproof as possible, I would also use black glitter cardstock for the background. I'm probably not gonna use it for this one because the blues and the golds are gonna be so pretty, you're not gonna notice the black, but we'll see. All right, so now that we have this set that's totally flush, hit your shift key, grab both squares. So you can see this one is the one that's highlighted right now, it's this square. So I'm gonna hit the shift key and grab this one as well. So now you know both of them are highlighted and we're gonna duplicate because they're already flushed. We're gonna make this flush set flushed with the first set. <laughs> So put it really, really close, and then we'll do the same thing. 23.1 becomes 23, 15.9 becomes 16. Okay, duplicate again. And on this last one, I mean, I'm gonna put it here like this, but it looks like we only need five squares. So let's put it really, really close. 34.1 becomes 34, 15.9 becomes 16. All right, now scroll down. And we're gonna grab the black background, arrange, send to the front. Now we're gonna look at these pieces to see where are we gonna cut this. So for example, we don't want this right now because do you see how the ear is gonna be sliced off? So I'm gonna want something like, oh, and sometimes there's nothing that we can do about it because of the way it is. Cause look, either this finger gets cut off or this cheek gets cut off. Um, or we could do something like this so that everything gets cut off, but, but we have bigger pieces. So I kind of like this, the hair is one piece. So for instance, we don't want something like this because look, this will cut off the hair and it's a small piece that we're gonna deal with. So in this case, I really want um, sizable pieces to put back together. And you know what? I'm going to just look at this image really quickly. Let's upload it or sorry, let's go into images. I want to see where I'm slicing it. So let's bring back, okay, that's clearly not, okay. <laughs> All right, let's click on that and insert it. And I have the window open so you can hear dogs barking. All right, this one, I'm gonna flatten just so that I don't have so many pieces. I don't want to slow down my design space. Okay, so this is slicing at the fingers, which is not bad because the blue is gonna cover that. So that's not bad, same thing over here. So we're not really gonna see the seams here. It's gonna be just at the edges and really, really minimal. So I like that and it comes down. Um, just looking to see where this is slicing. This is gonna come down. I don't wanna slice it at all where the beard is because the beard is gonna be black. So this is coming down the easiest way, you know what? So this is another reason why when you're resizing it at the beginning and we're making it really big, what I don't want you to do is just to go like this and say, oh yeah, that looks about good enough because here I want to duplicate this. I know this is specifically uh, 20 inches. So I'm just gonna put him over. I don't know why I was just second guessing myself. Let's see where the seams are gonna be. So the seam's gonna come down here. It's gonna be covered. I might wanna move it over because we're gonna see the seam right there through the hand. Yeah, let's move this guy over a little bit. So we're gonna grab this and this, and we're gonna move it over just a little bit. So this looks good. It's gonna cut down right here. It's gonna cut, it will cut through here, which I'm not liking. Let's see. Yeah, you know what, we can do it like this. You know why? Because this little piece, all you have to do is insert 
uh, a piece of black right here to cover up that seam. So, all right, so this looks good. It's running down. All right, I think we're good. So let's delete this and let's slice out our pieces, okay? All right, so we're gonna slice out this. We're just gonna make our way around this big genie. And oh, I'm, I always get scared to save it because while I'm doing a video tutorial, because sometimes the whole thing will disappear <laughs> and then we're just stuck talking about it because I don't want to redo it. Um, so I'm going to slice it all before I save it. All right, one more and then we're done. Okay, we can delete. Just deleting all the excess that we don't need. And we actually, oops, I hit the wrong one. Undo that. Okay, so I'm gonna move these pieces over because there's one more layer underneath, right? But I'm gonna keep it in the same order. It helps when you're, when you have this off the cutting mat. So let me delete this. It just helps because especially if you use regular black cardstock, it's hard to tell front from back. So sometimes when I take it off the Cricut mat, I flip it over, then I'm trying to put this back together and it's just not working. <laughs> All right, so here are our pieces. Let's save it. So I'm gonna save it as Genie 20 inches width. Oh, actually it's the height, but it doesn't matter. All right. Um, okay, it's saved. Let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what that looks like. On this one, just click OK. It's just telling us we need a 12 by 24 mat because there are two pieces that we're going to use 12 by 24 cardstock. All right, so here's our first black piece. Here's our second. These are all big pieces. However, I do believe this one can fit on this one. So the way you move it is we're going to click on the three dots, move object, and you can move it onto another mat. So we're definitely going to move it to another mat. We're going to move it to this one. And now you need to make sure though that you move these so that they are not overlapping. And you can twist them around. So I'm going to twist this one like this. It's a little bit like Tetris. Okay, so this fits. All right, so I saw an arm out there, right? Or is this an arm? Okay, let's move this. Well, I think that fits somewhere, right? Will that fit somewhere? <laughs> and definitely will fit with this one, so let's just do that. I mean, this could be maybe even like this. So if you save your cardstock, this might make it easier for you to use it next time because then you have this wide piece to use. You can even scoot it in a little bit more and you can use this and this, but that's up to you. <laughs> Let's look at our gold pieces. All right, so we've got this gigantic gold piece. I mean, this is wasteful, right? Because if you think about it, we're only using this little um, outline. So the middle piece, that's a big piece that I can reuse for some other project. So I like that idea, except I don't wanna ruin this excess piece. I'm gonna move this up here. And actually, I'm gonna move it in here because this has an edge. It might be easier to reuse 
than this in the middle. So I'm gonna do this. And then this little guy I'm gonna put in here. So what I'm saving is this piece right here. That's a pretty decent chunk. This in here, and then this much more usable piece here. What is this? Okay, so this is, I would probably do something like this, depending on my scrap, what I have. Right? Because if you remember before, it was a little bit bigger with all the empty space. Let's look at this. What is this? Um, you know what? I would, I don't remember what piece this is for, but I'm going to make it the same as my other blue. So I don't care what it is. I'm going to move it. Move object. I'm going to move it to my blue. And even this, we could, we could do better. Let's go and look at it so we can rearrange stuff. So this little guy can be like in here. This could be maybe over here, yeah. And this could be in here. So I still have a lot of space. I'm gonna go look on this sheet and see what I can move over. So we have those two pieces. Oh, we have one more piece over here. All right, so let's move this. Click on the three dots, move object. And I'm gonna move it to this one. And again, when you're moving these pieces, you just gotta remember that you look at these pieces again so that it doesn't overlap. Because if something like this happened, you're gonna have two ruined pieces. It's gonna cut right through twice. So you don't want that, okay. Let's go back over here. Definitely can fit a little bit more. So let's move that object and move it over to here. So I think we can get the blues, like his skin down to one, I mean to two pieces. Um, I don't think I can work that miracle of making it one. All right, let's look. There's still one more piece on this one. I think that can fit, right, with the others. Definitely would fit on here. Let's just do two, two pieces. Here we go. Oops. Okay, so there's that piece. Here's this piece. Um, I'm wondering this one, if we did something like this, can we move this down a little bit? It would just make this more usable for next time. I think what we can do is this. Um, can I squeeze this in there? I don't know, sometimes I try too much and then it just doesn't work. All right, so that fits. That leaves this square for like eyes next time, this bigger piece. I don't know if that was better or not, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. All right, here's this big blue piece, nothing we can do about it. Here's the red. Now what's going on here? Why are there multiple pieces of the red? I'm gonna do the red all one on one mat. So just click on it, move it to the other one, and then we're done. This will look pretty darn amazing. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. Let me. Tell me what you want to see. Um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.